For more than half a century, the C-130 Hercules was regarded as the benchmark for tactical military transport aircraft, but its era is gradually coming to an end. Appearing as a new symbol of power and innovation, the Airbus A400M is the perfect answer to the limitations the C-130 could never overcome. With its superior capabilities, the A400M doesn't just replace the Hercules, it sets a new standard for modern military airlift. So, how does it outperform the legendary C-130? And why are more and more countries eager to bring this military transport aircraft into their fleets? Let's find out. The Airbus A400M Atlas is a European four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft. It emerged from the urgent, strategic needs of European nations in the late 1980s when the mainstay military transport fleets such as the Lockheed C-130 Hercules and Transall C-160 were becoming outdated. Countries like France, Germany, the UK, and Spain wanted a new type of aircraft that could combine the larger payload capacity of the C-130 with the ability to operate flexibly on short, unpaved runways something that heavy strategic transport aircraft like the C-17 or IL-76 struggled to achieve. This is when the concept of a dual-role military transport aircraft capable of both strategic and tactical operations began to take shape. Initially, the development program was known as FEMA, Future International Military Airlifter, a multinational cooperation project involving Aerospatial France, British Aerospace UK, Alenia, Italy, Casa, Spain, and even Lockheed, USA. However, Lockheed quickly withdrew from the project to focus on developing its own C-130J version. The European countries decided to continue the program independently, and by 1995, Airbus Military, the military branch of Airbus, officially took over the project, naming it the A-400M. After years of negotiations and technical cooperation, in 2003, Seven European countries, including Germany, France, Spain, the UK, Turkey, Belgium, and Luxembourg, signed a contract to order 180 A400M aircraft. However, the program quickly faced a series of challenges. The development of the TP400D6 turboprop engine, the most powerful engine ever built outside of the US and Russia, took longer than expected. While critical systems such as the fly-by-wire flight control software, cargo release system, and cockpit design also encountered continuous issues. Development costs soared, and the schedule was delayed by years, with moments when it seemed the program might be canceled. Nevertheless, the multinational cooperation efforts helped the A400M overcome its toughest phase. The first successful flight occurred on December 11, 2009, in Seville, Spain. On March 20, 13, this military transport aircraft received certification from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, and the first aircraft was delivered to the French Air Force in August 2013. Since then, the program has gradually stabilized, with several countries, including Germany, the UK, Malaysia, Turkey, and Spain, receiving the aircraft. Although initially criticized for being overly ambitious and delayed, the A400M has now proven its value in practice, demonstrating the appeal of a next-generation military transport aircraft, so, what makes the A400M stunning? The A400M is a four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft, designed as a generational leap compared to older transport planes, such as the C-130 Hercules, which has been a symbol of tactical transport for over half a century. While the C-130 stands out for its flexibility on austere airstrips, the A400M not only inherits but expands that capability to a whole new level. Combining the large payload capacity of a strategic aircraft with the maneuverability of a tactical one. First, unlike the C-130, which is usually limited to medium loads such as light armored vehicles or standard cargo, the A-400M can carry cargo that even medium transport aircraft cannot handle. Heavy armored vehicles, helicopters, or oversized equipment. The Hercules cannot carry these heavy loads while maintaining good performance on austere runways, while the Airbus military transport aircraft does so reliably. It flies with a high, stable cruising speed and can cover strategic distances, something the C-130 is not optimized to perform. Second, with its advanced turboprop engine design, the Airbus military transport aircraft can reach speeds of up to approximately 780 km per hour, significantly faster than the C-130J, which is approximately 645 km per hour, 
while maintaining an exceptional range. On short, unpaved runways, the A400M exerts even less pressure on the ground compared to the Hercules, thanks to its 12-wheel main landing gear that effectively distributes weight. Additionally, its engines are mounted higher, helping to minimize the risk of foreign object debris ingestion. An advantage when operating in dusty or rugged environments, which are typical for both aircraft types. Third, in terms of survivability and self-defense, the A400M exceeds the standards set by the C-130. In addition to its armored cockpit and bulletproof glass, the A400M uses inert gas in its fuel tanks to reduce the risk of fire or explosion, something the Hercules lacks. It can fly as low as 150 feet, perform highly maneuverable actions with angles up to 120 degrees, and features reduced infrared detectability, which is crucial in modern combat operations. Its fly-by-wire flight control system reacts quickly, and combined with electronic defensive measures, it makes the aircraft difficult to lock onto or destroy. Furthermore, while the in-flight refueling capability of the C-130 is limited, and typically only available on special versions like the KC-130, the Airbus military transport aircraft fully embraces this role, both as an aerial refueling tanker and as a receiver of fuel. With a maximum internal fuel capacity of 51 tons and equipped with a versatile refueling system, the aircraft can refuel fighter jets, helicopters, and even other transport aircraft, including the Su-30, F-18, Hawk, Tornado, Eurofighter, and helicopters. What do you think? Can a 400M replace the legendary C-130 due to its superior abilities? Finally, in its role as a cargo and paratrooper dropper, the A400M also excels. It is certified to drop heavy loads of up to 25 tons from both low and high altitudes and can drop as many as 116 paratroopers simultaneously. A remarkable figure compared to the Hercules, which typically carries around 64 paratroopers in its standard configuration. With 178 orders from 10 countries and more than 200,000 flight hours, the A400M is not just an upgrade, but a complete redefinition of modern military airlift. It performs both strategic and tactical missions, from transporting troops and vehicles to providing humanitarian aid and peacekeeping operations after disasters. Packing all of this into a single, flexible platform that surpasses the limitations of both the C-130 and other strategic transport aircraft. Indeed, despite being developed with high expectations and some skepticism, the A-400M quickly established its essential role in real-world operations, ranging from intense combat zones to urgent humanitarian situations. Its ability to combine heavy payload capacity, long range, and the ability to land on short, unpaved runways has made the aircraft the optimal choice for missions requiring high flexibility. During the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic, the A400M participated in a series of large-scale medical evacuation campaigns across Europe. Thanks to its spacious cargo hold, the aircraft could be quickly converted into an air medical space capable of transporting critically ill patients, emergency relief equipment, and medical supplies to lockdown areas or regions with overwhelmed healthcare systems. Numerous cross-border flights were conducted to transfer patients between France, Germany, and Spain, countries that all own this aircraft. Beyond humanitarian missions, it has also been involved in numerous military operations carried out by NATO and its member countries. In Afghanistan, the aircraft was used for military logistics and evacuating heavy equipment from local bases, where challenging terrain and limited runways made it impossible for strategic transport aircraft to operate. In Mali, as part of the counterterrorism campaign in the Sahel, it played a key role in transporting troops, armored vehicles, and logistical equipment to remote hotspots, where only dirt airstrips or small airports were available. In particular, Amid rising tensions in Ukraine, this military transport aircraft was deployed to transport weapons, defense equipment from Western European countries to NATO's eastern borders, demonstrating the aircraft's quick response capability and superior operational range in a combat environment close to the front line. Not limited to warfare and health crises, it has also played a vital role in disaster relief operations. After the severe earthquake in Turkey in 2023, several A400M from Germany, France, and Spain conducted emergency flights, delivering hundreds of tons of aid, field hospitals, tents, and rescue teams to heavily affected areas, 
where airport infrastructure had been almost entirely destroyed. In Southeast Asia, Malaysia's A400M was also deployed to assist flood-stricken provinces, showcasing the versatility and flexibility of this aircraft both at the national and multinational levels. These missions not only highlight the impressive technical features of the aircraft, but also clearly demonstrate that it is not a paper technology project. Instead, it has proven to be a truly strategic tool, where technology, operational capability, and humanitarian efforts converge within a single air platform. The exceptional capabilities of the A400M demonstrate that it is not just a modern military transport aircraft, it is also a symbol of a significant shift in the European defense industry. As the largest multinational defense collaboration project ever on the European continent, the aircraft brings together the technical and financial capacities of eight European countries, including France, Germany, Spain, the UK, Belgium, Luxembourg, Turkey, and Malaysia, creating an unprecedented defense manufacturing ecosystem. This project has driven the establishment of a transnational supply chain where key components are manufactured across multiple European countries, such as the wings produced in the UK, the fuselage built in Germany, and the tail constructed in Spain. Notably, this is the first aircraft for which Europe has entirely developed its own engine, the TP400D6, produced by Europrop International, a joint venture between MTU Aero Engines Germany, Rolls-Royce UK, SNECMA France, and ITP Spain. This not only showcases Europe's top-tier technical expertise, but also helps the continent reduce its dependency on U.S. technology and military transport, which was previously dominated by the Hercules and C-17 Globemaster III. The creation of the A400M also set the stage for Airbus military to expand its defense product range, notably with the successful development of the A330 MRTT, a strategic tanker aircraft currently used by over 17 countries. In an increasingly volatile geopolitical landscape with Europe's growing need for strategic autonomy, it is not just a military tool. It is also a testament to internal cooperation and a major step in shaping a globally influential and independent European defense industry. To further expand the market share for its military transport aircraft, Airbus is engaging in strategic negotiations with UAE-based aerospace parts manufacturer Strata Manufacturing and military MRO service provider AMROC. The aim is to establish localized work packages for the A400M as the company seeks to secure its first orders for the aircraft in the Middle East. Rather than merely offering the product, Airbus is exploring the possibility of incorporating UAE companies into its primary production network for the A400M, according to Gerd Weber, head of the A400M program. Speaking at a press briefing on the sidelines of the International Defense Exhibition, IDEX, in Abu Dhabi, Weber noted that we are in intensive talks with our partners here in the UAE when it comes to localizing part of the production here. We even intend to have part of the primary production system probably being done in the UAE. We are ready to do so, he said. It's going to bring a lot of complex jobs, complex aircraft manufacturing to the country, and we truly believe it will be a big benefit for all of us. Airbus estimates the potential orders for the aircraft in the Middle East could reach 30 to 40 units, with the UAE accounting for 8 to 10 of those as it looks to replace its aging C-130 fleet starting in 2028. Weber believes a decision from the UAE could come later this year. He also noted that Saudi Arabia may require a larger number between 15 and 20 units and said the country is likely to need them quite soon. Airbus is positioning the Airbus military transport aircraft as the natural replacement for the Hercules, citing its superior range, greater payload capacity, and broader operational versatility. These talks come at a time when major defense spenders like Saudi Arabia and the UAE are pushing to localize defense procurement and develop domestic military-industrial capabilities as part of broader efforts to diversify their economies beyond oil.